and we're starting on page 23. Push that fixture block all the way against the laser cutter's ruler guides in the upper left corner, and then install your neck aligned with the magic marker lines. Make sure the neck is also against that ruler. Auto focus on the surface, and then perform a dry run, and then you can etch your logo. Now install the other fixture and place your neck on it. Again, you're pushing the fixture all the way into those ruler guides. Align the, f the nut slot with those arrows so that the arrows are in the middle of the slot. Autofocus in the middle of the neck. And then you're ready to perform a dry run. It'll simulate um, lines for the nut slot and the center line. Those won't be etched. Those are just for alignment. Check that these are going where you want to. Obviously you've put a lot of work into your neck and we want these to be in the right place. You have three choices for those fretboard markers. After those are cut, uh, then you'll slide the neck on its side and align the nut slot with that aluminum, uh, the bent aluminum plate push it all the way down, make sure it's seated uh, securely, then uh, load the, the side fret markers and stop that program while it's drawing those center lines. You can auto-focus then uh, the probe will be right, right where it needs to be. Now you can continue the dry run and it'll cut the, f the side markers and you're done with uh, laser etching. Okay, the tuners are installed with the button uh, towards the end of the headstock. There's three left and three right. Uh, it's a 1 16th drill bit and it's chucked up so that it won't break through the other side. Align the tuner with the side of the neck parallel and just drill the upper hole. So I'm aligning parallel, drill the upper hole. Do this for all six of the tuners. This is the fastest way I've found to do it. and. Uh, that's a magnetizer. Now your screwdriver will hold those little screws. You don't have to hold on to them. Install that upper screw. These are uh, fairly time-consuming. They're so small. Uh, make sure you don't torque it too hard because um, we don't have much grip capability with such a small screw. And install all six of these upper screws. And once they're installed, now the tuner is automatic is aligned to the headstock and you don't have to worry about that step when you do the rest of the operations. Okay, we've got all six in. Now we can drill the lower six. Go ahead and drill all six of those holes. And now install all six of those screws. And there's your uh, completed tuners on the headstock.